for times like these, and um, we have a lot of older guys that have been in situations like this, and um, guys stepped up, Josh and Devontae made big shots, but um, we got to finish every play, we got to finish game strong, and uh, we'll continue to work on that, but I'm, I'm proud of our guys and, and how, how, we, how we dug that one out. Joel? Uh, just a little bit of repeating what Colin said, just they hit um, some big free throws late, and I think um, we just closed out the game strong. We um, didn't really back down, and even when they went on the run and took, I think it was like a one or two point lead, um, we just got together and we fixed it right there on the court. We didn't need a timeout. Um, I think that just speaks to the volumes of leadership that's really come a long way since the beginning of the Big Ten season. <clears throat> Rob? Yeah, to go off that, um, I just thank God for the growth of this team. I think um, this is the first time um, all season we was able to stream together two consecutive uh, what we felt like were 40 minute efforts. And um, I think that's big for us moving forward. If we can continue to do that, we'll continue to do better. Go ahead. Uh, Juwan, obviously, the season's well underway now. You face a lot of big men, talented big men, so go up against a guy like Watkins tonight. Are you more comfortable now facing the, the more talented post players? Uh, I've always been confident. Um, just in the work that we put in every day, uh, I still think that when I'm going against other bigs, I still feel I have the advantage, um, no matter how tall they are or how much stronger they are than me. And I think that just goes to the testament of the work we put in every day. And then even if I don't have it, I know my guys will knock down shots. <clears throat> and I can just kick it out to them. You guys, you got out shot 15, 40%. Three, three point was the same, very staggering. But you did all the hard work and things. No turnovers, uh, second chance points, uh, offensive rebounds, out rebounding the team again. Is that kind of setting in for you guys and what Archie's trying to get you guys to play into? Uh, yeah, uh, just we always trying to do in practice is just play your heart out every play. Don't take plays off. Um, we got guys that are ready to go, and if you're not ready to go, someone else is coming sub you in. So um, you just got to come in ready, and, and, and that that hard working and that scrappy mindset is what is what we have to have every day um, and, and carry over to these games. Colin, can you talk? Can you talk about? Um you guys that came off a good game against Duke and then you lost. You came off a, a good victory against Notre Dame and then you lost. And you played well against Minnesota. Were you guys worried at all that you, this might be the same thing? Um, we addressed that, um, that we that we have done that twice. We had the big win and then a fall off. Um, and it's we addressed that and, and that's something that we have to get better at and continue to work on and concentrate is you have to come ready every day. You can't get too high, you can't get too low, you can't listen to the outside noise. It's it's what we do every day, and it's who who we are every day, and we can't get away from that. Zach, I guess to that point, what did that look like when you addressed that? Who, who kind of said that? Who kind of led that that discussion? And just kind of maybe what all do you feel positive came out of it? Uh, I, uh, Coach brought it up first, um, and then I think it trickled down through all the guys, um, all the guys all the way down. Uh, it's just in our mental preparation, our physical preparation, everybody getting active treatment, doing whatever you have to do, getting up extra shots. Um, we watch film prepare. It's just mentally locking into everything that you do and not taking any steps back in any area of the game. Um, Juwan, uh, I think Colin mentioned about if you guys aren't ready, somebody else will come in. <coughs> I think your bench, as a bench, you outscored them 23 to 1. Is that indicative that, that uh, how ready everybody is? Uh, definitely. Um, it could be anybody's uh, night on any given game. And I think just being ready to go, uh, mentally preparing to go into the game, uh, seeing the game in your mind, all that goes into just the me mental preparation of playing. And then once they get in the game, they're ready and they they can get right into the flow of things and not have like a really bad play just to get acclimated. And I think that just goes to the work they put in every day. Rob, you guys seem like you're maybe more on the same page <coughs> together tonight. Have you kind of seen that coming and what's kind of been the catalyst to getting everybody on the same page? Um, I think it just came down to constant communication. Um, I think we're doing a better job of when we see problems within the game instead of everybody going their separate, way, separate ways and just um, them trying to figure it out on their own. I think we come together and try to find a solution and not try to you know stack negative plays but positive plays on top of each other. And then um, I think with that, you know, we have more um, stretches of positive play instead of negative. Did you guys talk at halftime about the? Three for 17 on threes and going inside more and kind of changing that approach. Uh, we yeah we talked about it, but um, I think I don't think really much, but like probably like two or three of those threes were bad shots. Uh, I think we were just getting open, uh, 
we were getting good looks and open looks, but we just weren't knocking them down. And where good looks comes, oh, driving lanes. And I think that we just had to get inside a few more times and just get a little confidence to seeing the ball go through the hoop, and then we were going to get some knock those shots out. Alex? For you guys, uh, Zach McRoberts uh, plays 26 minutes, doesn't score, um, but still has a huge impact of the game. For Just talk about you know his kind of his role and, and how he's helping the team right now. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's been huge for us, you know, especially since he's been starting. Um, he just, you know, plays within himself and gives uh, everything that he has. And I think if, you know, we, call, we can all, you know, recognize what we need to give to, uh, for the betterment of the team, I think um, we'll all be better. Andy. you mentioned, you talked about three-point shooting. With just under four minutes to play, you faked one from the right wing, got the defender out position, went to the hole and got fouled and scored. The fact that you've shown you can hit threes now, does that help your overall game? The defense has to respect that now? Uh, I think it's like definitely, just like you said, um, he had to respect that I could hit that shot and he had to close out. And when he left his feet, I had open driving lane either to take it all the way like I did or uh, pass to an open teammate. Seth? Um, Josh had 16 points tonight. It was playing very efficient, especially if he didn't score last game. What was working really well for him? How was he able to bounce back tonight? Um, I think tonight he just was poised. Um, you know, he wasn't really rushing anything. Um, he let the game come to him and was, you know, being a good point guard first. And um, I think when, you know, when he did that, I think things opened up for him. All right, guys, thanks. Thank you.